Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to some more of the Elder Scrolls cast. Today you are witnessing the creation of one of the Daedric Princes. This one I am probably going to also mispronounce the name of, which is Hercyang. I am yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm messing that up. Anyway, he is the Daedric Prince whose spirit is the hunt. He is very much about things of hunting nature, going after a prey, you know, sort of those type of things. But he is considered one of the more nicer of the Daedric Princes. Typically, all the Daedric Princes are not liked nearly as much as the divines um and particularly certain races like the imperials especially don't like any of the daedric princes for the most part there are actually some people out there that actually do like the divines this is one of the i mean the not the divines the daedric princes this is one of the daedric princes that's probably actually got one of the most followings uh a lot of hunters and fishers and such actually follow him or at least believe in him because the fact that he is sort of representing the hunt. He even has this thing, like, every air, I think. Uh, I want to say it's called, like, a blood moon or something. I want to say. And I actually think there was a DLC for Morrowind, if I am correct, that was actually based around this. So he was a pretty big part of that. Another thing that he is known for is actually creating lycanthropy i'm probably saying that much but you know werewolves so things along that nature they're were creatures and i don't know if it's more of reading the books of the lore that comes from within skyrim and oblivion and when you play the games and you can find the books and stuff again i didn't read almost any of the books that i found in skyrim i would like the ones i did read i only read like the first so many pages but i was in the mindset of like I'm playing a game, I'm gonna continue playing my game, but if you were to present the physical actual book to me, I probably would actually sit down and read it, uh, potentially, because I do like a lot of lore type stuff, learning history of things, so I would probably be very intrigued by it, but while playing a game, my mindset has a really hard time of sitting down and actually reading all that stuff because I just want to keep playing. But apparently there are other rare creatures, um, and among those is rare, because when I was like reading the stuff about him, is rare crocodiles. I want to see what that looks like. So I'm very curious. There was other things as well, like lions and boars. I feel like I've heard those a little bit more often. But crocodiles? What does rare crocodile look like? Like, I'm very tempted to look it up and see if there's actual drawings of this, or at least fan-type drawings. I'm very curious. But anyway, so yeah, he is sort of the creator of that, and the, that for that reason, a lot of people infected with lycanthropy, or whatever, the were creatures, actually do also follow him, and I think he actually does directly talk to them a lot of times, and such and even sometimes can reward them powers and things like that. But a lot of times, it, like a big thing, like he's not a very like destructive Daedric Prince and he'll even reward people when they're doing hunts or at least maybe respect them in regards, which is a rare thing <laughs> for Daedric Princes. And if a prey can even turn it around and actually be like become the predator, he still gives them high regards, even though at one point they were the prey. So. It's, it's very interesting, like, how he sort of is. He's definitely, like, one of the more, like, nicer Daedric Princes. One of, I'm trying to think of a different word, and the word is just not coming to my head. But, you know, he's definitely, like, most likely to respect people for different stuff, and he's not going to result to attacking and, so, and all that stuff. Oddly enough, the, all, out of all the times that I have played Skyrim, I have never once gotten the ability to turn into a werewolf. I don't know why. I, and I knew about them. I knew about the companions. I knew about werewolves. I, I knew about all that stuff. But I never tried it myself for some odd reason. <laughs> but I actually do plan on changing that at some point. I don't know when the next time I play Skyrim is, but I do have a like playthrough where I'm trying to do as much as possible I can. I know once you do certain things and make certain decisions, certain side quests and stuff like that, or like main quests or whatever, you can't do like the other half of it because you know you're choosing, but at the same time, I'm gonna try to do as much in it as I can, just just to see um, what all I've missed and stuff. 
But when creating him, I did try to take in the fact that, you know, he was sort of the leader of, or the creator of werewolves or lichens, lycanthropes in general. And the fact that he is like a hunter type thing, he tends to like, you know, be out in the wild more often because just thinking about hunting in general. But there's also is a picture from him from the DLC that he is like a big part of. And he's wearing like a wrap thing around him that's in the bottom that's blue and he's got these boots that have like a blue wrap on the top of them. That's why you see me put socks on him because I'm trying to give that illusion. I don't know if I stick with the socks or if you know, they actually fully work or what I do, because they was looking a little strange, especially with this wrap thing that's from Island Living, but that is actually pretty close to what he's wearing, other than the fact the back of it is a little bit longer and there's no designs on it. It's just solid blue. But this is what I went with. But I decided to give him tattoos that had, like, it's almost like a warrior tribal, I don't, you know, something along in there, but also because there's some dots and stuff on his legs, and this one looks like, you know, he has some dots on his legs. Looks almost like deer, like young baby deer dots on his legs. But he does have horns in a lot of the pictures that he's in. So I tried to mesh all of that together. Like he's got different parts of like animals just slightly hinting out and peeking out um, here and there. I do like how he turned out, but at the same time, it was like a very odd thing when I was going through. I was like... There's, like, some things that's weird and looking strange, but I really like the, like, it was a tattoo, but obviously, like, with the fact that, one, I made it white, um, two, just, you know, most likely it isn't an actual tattoo with what I'm going with with him, but I love how that looks on him, and I like a lot of that detailing, like, I got stuff on his face as well and stuff, so I really like how he did turn out. <laughs> A lot of the Daedric princes like to show up shirtless or close to shirtless. So that was also strange, having to make all these male sims with, like, no shirts. But, <laughs> but um, in the end, and, try, and, like, trying to give them different things. But I think this, like, body paint sort of look I was going for definitely gave him a different look and feel. And definitely was more intriguing. Let me know how you think he turned out down in the comments below. If he's become one of your favorites so far, and if not, who is your favorite that showed up on the series so far, and who are you looking forward to? I always feel free to mention any people that are from the world of Elder Scrolls that potentially are looked at as something like the Divines and the Daedric Princes, or they may be in other pantheons, but not some of the main ones that are really talked about, so some that may not initially show up in the series, feel free to mention them down in the comments below. I might do like a second series of Elder Scrolls casts, depending on how many comments and stuff I get and how many options. I've actually seen a, a one comment so far that's actually mentioned some very interesting ones, so I'm, I'm sort of intrigued by anyone else's suggestions. But yeah, anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked how he has turned out, how her sign, I can't, I don't know how to say it, has turned out. If you like it and like the video, hit that lovely like button. Subscribe if you're not already so that you get, don't miss out on future Elder Scrolls videos as well as other things here on the channel. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye!